Tiger King exposed. Joe Exotic did what? Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Screen Paradise. Staring in the Netflix latest docu series Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem and Madness, Joey Exotic is a man of many titles, other than his birth name, Joseph Maldonado Passage. He is a former zoo operator in Oklahoma, a gubernatorial candidate and now convicted felon serving time for killing tigers and devising a plan to kill his rival, then famous Carol Baskin. While the position of these words might seem strange, to you, Exotic is not strange to contrast. In a documentary, he describes himself as gay gun toting cowboy with a mullet. The viral star has been quite open and proud about his sexuality and has tied the knot quite a few times over. Exotic's story is no more just his own and remains incomplete without the mention of his five husbands that he stayed intimate with over the years. Brian Ryan was Joe's first long term love affair and eventually his first marriage too. They meet at a cowboy gay bar when Ryan was only 19. But as they say, love knows no age. Soon the couple moved into Joe's trailer, and as the New York Magazine reports, grew to resemble each other with mullets and horseshoe, mustaches, and dressed in jeans and boots. Despite the strong condemnation of gay marriage in the 80s, their love blossomed, and they opened the zoo together, until HIV took Ryan away and left a hole in Joe's life, for a while at least. Not long after Ryan's death, Joey married Jeffrey Charles Hardpence, age 24, who was an event producer and helped grow Joey's traveling tiger shows at state fairs and malls through his experience in the industry. However, the sweet relationship didn't sustain for very long and took a dark road pretty soon. According to the magazine profiles, JC wanted the zoo to be moved into a rehabilitation center for the wildcats, while Joe insisted on continuing to breed his cats and travel for shows. This seemingly trivial bicker soon turned into literal life threats when Joe used their tiger, named Goliath, to hold a piece of meat with JC's remains printed boldly on it. Along he sent a note which said, if you don't get your shit together, this is gonna be your reality. As per Texas Monthly, later JC was arrested for allegedly trying to hold down two guns on Joe's head. We wonder where did it all go wrong? To make it right, Joey married John Finlay and Travis Michael Maldonado and the three of them stayed in a polygamous relationship for years. Finlay met Exotic when he was only 19 years old and answered a Craigslist ad in search of a job right after high school. Initially, living with his girlfriend, Finlay moved to the park after he got in the relationship with Joe and the journey brought many changes to his lifestyle, where the most moldy manifested once with the physical alterations other than bulking up and losing hair from his chest. Finlay got many tattoos among which three were exclusively dedicated to Exotic, privately owned by Joe Exotic, was one of them just below his belt. According to Finlay, Joe also introduced him to meth, which caused him to lose many of his teeth. In the later stage of their marriage, Finlay felt that Joe was becoming uncontrollably domineering and even physically abusive. Now that he is out of the allegedly dark relationship, Finlay has got his teeth fixed and got the set tattoo covered with ink, and he looks great. Sadly, the same cannot be said about Joe's other husband Travis Maldonado, but in as per Joe's college's suggestions, the 19-year-old handsome hung from Southern California joined the zoo in order to get away from drugs and find some success in the work. A few months in, Joey threw a three-way marriage ceremony for himself. Maldonado and Finlay in a local dance hall and some animals also attended as guests, which quite frankly does not come as a surprise. Sherry Peck, Maldonado's father's girlfriend, said he thought he was having the chance of a lifetime. He didn't know he was walking into hell. After just a few years of his stay at the park, Maldonado passed away by accidentally shooting himself at the museum's gift shop. And a wealthy bullet in the chamber, he pulled the trigger and died immediately. Indeed, this was the most tragic ending out of all. Reportedly still tied in their marriages, both Joey and Dylan Passage met after Maldonado's death through Grinder. Dylan was 21 at the time, which made the age gap between the couples huge to ignore. 33 years older and a former spouse to four men. At such once again picked a weak similarly young looking attractive man to marry. Even when Joey is serving 22 years in prison, Dylan is insistent on sticking by him through thick and thin and is actively speaking about their relationship on his Instagram and interviews with Variety, Nicky Swift and Andy Cohen. During one of his interviews he read off from a letter that Exotic sent and teared up. It said I've never been so proud of being married to anyone as I am for few. Let's hope it all works out in Oklahoma. Just remember, I love you. Well that is very sweet 
his convictions are not. Two charges of murder for hire and 17 counts animal of abuse. We hope there aren't any calamitous endings to Hagar King's stories. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I will see you in the next video.